So I expect that there'll be a great deal of technology change in the next 10 years or so. Dr. Donald Weaver, the DMC's Chief of Surgery and Surgery Department Chairman at the Wayne State University School of Medicine, is removing a tumor from a patient's rectum with minimally invasive laparoscopic surgery. Instead of the traditional large incision to get at the tumor, Dr. Weaver inserts the laparoscope, a thin rod that carries a tiny light and camera to provide a magnified view on TV monitors. He then inserts small instruments to dissect, seal, and cauterize tissue. The benefits of minimally invasive surgery are no secret. Smaller incisions, shorter hospital stays and recovery time, less medication than with traditional open surgery. The Detroit Medical Center is committed to the minimally invasive approach. Virtually all of the surgical specialties, I think, have recognized that this is an important thing to be able to offer to patients, and it's something which uh, I think can give us uh, at the Detroit Medical Center um, a real opportunity to, to be something unique for patients. Using laparoscopic instruments requires a set of specialized skills. So how do surgeons and residents acquire and hone these skills? The answer is here in the surgical simulation lab overseen by Dr. David Bauman, professor of surgery at Wayne State University, director of the DMC's Alexander Jeffrey Walt Comprehensive Breast Center. What it's allowed for the first time is for surgeons to uh, practice uh, good approximations of operations in a controlled environment. Using 3D animation and virtual reality techniques, the simulation lab gives surgeons a chance to learn, practice, and perfect their skills before they ever enter the operating room. I believe what we're going to see is a um, acceleration of skill levels, uh, just unbelievable. Thanks to remarkably realistic touch feedback effects, the surgeon can actually feel what it's like to break through a wall of a vein with a needle or cut through the tissue surrounding the gallbladder. Dr. Christopher Steffes teaches surgery at the Wayne State Medical School and is a general surgeon at the DMC. What the simulator is doing is allowing me to advance through the colon with virtual reality and add all the different things, the nuances which may occur during an actual colonoscopic procedure. So in fact, the patient or the computer will moan if it's feeling pain and that'll be my uh, cue to push less hard or to give some more sedation um, so that the patient doesn't feel this. Research shows that the surgical simulation lab improves performance, increases surgeon confidence, and improves patient safety. For experienced surgeons, when we go to do new procedures, Anytime there's a new procedure, by definition, it hasn't been done on anyone before, or we haven't done it on anyone before, or maybe it's something that we're going to uh, try. And this gives us a chance to work out the details there and figure out what the pitfalls may be ahead of time. Patients will have better trained physicians taking care of them. People are going out into practice in the community with a much stronger, better developed skill set than what they uh, had before, and that's good for, for all patients. The Surgical Simulation Lab is just one of a multitude of high-tech wonders that make the DMC a center for world-class medical training and unparalleled patient care. The DMC, we just think it's a better way to get better. I'm Emory King.